feel this project is relevant in this day and age? Throughout the ages, there have been different interpretations of, of Bach and, you know, uh, d interpretations of, of music by composers that were living and by composers that were dead. Um, Bach in the 19th century was obviously considered a great romantic composer because look at what Buzzoni and Liszt and Rachmaninoff and, and uh, all those guys did with his music. They, they pulled the romanticism out of it and they turned Bach into the, one of the great romantic composers, which I think he was. It's just that the way Bach did it uh, was not as hard on the sleeve and you know it was more uh, implied and but it was definitely in there <laughs> to reach a new audience. It's a distillation of what I started in Jerusalem Trilogy. Uh, like you said, it's sort of a, uh, a distillation of all of these different styles. And there isn't one that stands out uh, particularly in any given arrangement. Each arrangement has its own style, uh, basic style, its own vibe, and its own premise, so we say. You know, um, uh, there, there's an obvious uh, theme. Uh, and, and, and basis for arrangement for each one. But stylistically, they're hard to peg. Um, and I like that about this project. specifically used a set of rules I did when approaching this arrangement. The main rule was that I cannot subtract or take anything away from Bach's original structure. If he repeats it five times, you know, I gotta repeat five. You know, it's, I can't change the structure. <laughs> integrity of the music stays the same as long as you fill it up with something that works 
and as long as it has a context. The context can be different, but it needs to work in a context with Bach's music. Bach 21 in stores, September 2015.